You know, when we were kids, we didn't need science to tell us what to do to be happy, right? Most of us were just happy at certain time. And yet today, with all the science, with all the conferences, with positive psychology, with all the interventions that we, particularly in this group, are aware of, how many of us still struggle at time to be happier and to improve our well-being? I am from Sarajevo. Uh, you might know, somebody mentioned 1984, that's the year that we had Olympic Winter Games, and a lot of snow. So back then, uh, most of us kids would go to this hilly street in the city, which would be closed for the traffic due to really impossible driving conditions. And we would go up to this hill and they just keep sledding down, right? So first time we went up, we would slide down and end up at one place. The second time, we would end up at a different place. The third time, yet another place. And as we kept sledding down, after certain points of time, we would end up at the same place with minimal effort or almost without trying. How many of us tried sledding or... No? Nobody? Not so much snow in your country? Okay, so, so we know what it means, right? Now, most of us know that is exactly how habits work, right? We keep doing things, we create that neural pathway in our brain, and it's just there, regardless if the habits are good for us or bad for us. How many of us would like to, and please raise your hand and keep it up. How many of us would like to, let's say, start exercising, keep, start meditating, lose some weight, keep your hand up, come on, come on, gain weight, <laughs> become happier, use some tools that we learned today, I see all the hands up, right? Well, guess what? You want to do that? The only way, anything you want to achieve in life, everything starts with habits. First, physical habits, easy to understand, right? Brushing your teeth. Tying up your shoelace, doing something physically. That's easy to explain. Emotional habits. All of us know that uh, uh, certain emotions, being sad, mad, angry, happy, could also become, unfortunately, or fortunately for happy people, our habits. Thinking habits. Most of us don't think that thinking could become habit, but it actually could. Right? I see some heads. So, to give an example, um, going back to that story in the snow, anytime I wake up, we live in New Jersey now, and I see this beautiful white snow outside, immediately my mind goes back to Sarajevo, to that picture. That's my thinking habit. And there's a, something that I call circle habits. And, and I truly believe this is really important. So let me ask you a question. How many of us, and maybe it's just me, Say, tomorrow, as some of us even wrote this down, I'm going to start, whatever that is, exercising, eating better, stop eating junk food. How many of us say that? And then tomorrow comes, we go, well, I'll start next week. And next week comes and we say, well, you know, I'm at a conference, I can't do it now, next month. Anyone? Just me? Okay, most of us. So, so those are what I call circle habits. And what I think is really important is that to understand the good and the bad side of this. So you really have a two choices. Uh, one choice is Nike. Just do it. You said you're going to start exercising tomorrow. You said you're going to stop eating junk food tomorrow. Get it done. Just do it. Easily said than done, right? That's difficult to do. What happens is when you say to yourself, I will start tomorrow, I'll start next week, I'll start next month. What A, you haven't started your habit and B, you drive yourself crazy. So that makes it even worse, right? Now you feel bad because you haven't started your habit. So instead, just put it aside. If you're not ready and say, I'm gonna reevaluate next week. I'm gonna reevaluate in 30 days, whatever that is. I'm not saying don't do it. But put it aside, don't go into this circle, into the loop. Before I went up to that hill, I believed that I can go up and I slid down. I had that, you know, look, Thomas the train, yes, I can, yes, I can, right? And I had that, yes, I know I can attitude. But 
In fact, I didn't really know as a kid that today there is a lot of research, and one of them by Dr. Bruce Lipton, that shows that when we believe in something, when we truly believe, that our body, all the way down to the cell level, changes. So now I know why this is really number one important, number one secret that I would call that. If you want to work on that habit that you just wrote down, you better believe you can do this. If you don't believe it, pick another habit. By the way, here's what I do. Before I go to sleep, I set up what I call wake up with a, what I, wake up with a smile call, 5 a.m. When I hear alarm, you know what I do? I smile. And why do I smile? Not because I'm happy every morning. Who's happy 5 a.m.? <laughs> Crazy people, right? And me sometimes. But the reason I smile, because after reading all the research, I know that I'm going to get some dopamine. I'm going to get some happy chemical. I don't need the drugs to make me happy. There was a research that shows that if we brush our teeth with non-dominant hand, and I see some here, yeah, a lot of people know about the research. For 21 days, I say 30, that we can increase willpower. Have you tried that? Really? What's the feedback? See, I mean, this, these are the simple things, and this is really what I do. I take what you guys give me, and I try to read hundreds of pages of paper that I don't understand, and I figure out one paragraph that I can apply as a coach, as, as a, uh, you know, doing a workshop. Thanks for the feedback. That's, that's a great exercise. It could be really anything that you have never done before. Now, I was truly excited to go to that hilly street. And that's why I was happy before I even went there, right? So what did I do with my sled? Where did I put them? Right by the door. Right by the door. So I'm happy, I'm excited, I get up, I take my sled, and I go have some fun. And now I am trying to reverse engineering this. I'm also an engineer, right? So I'm trying to figure out how can I get to this stage of happiness and excitement by reversing this. So let me give you, most of us know Dr. Chuck Mihail, right, the flow. Um, he also, so he has this, what he calls the activation energy, that everything that we do is that little spark, little activation energy to get us started. So I connected that activation energy with what Sean Aker calls 22nd rule. A 22nd rule is to if you want to do something, make sure it's the, uh, less than 20 seconds away from you. And if you don't want to do something, make sure it's 20 seconds away from you. So, you don't want to eat junk food, put it somewhere in the basement. You want to eat fruit, put it on top of the kitchen table. Don't even put it in the fridge. Because why? Our brain is sometimes lazy. Open up a fridge. If it's not on, a, on the shelf of eyes level, we don't even look down. So keep that in mind. So, how many of us want to change some of the habits? Let's say, anybody supposed to start exercising a little more? The first day what I did is, I put my shoes next to my bed, night before my running shoes. I woke up, I put my running shoes on, I said, yes, I did it for today. I was done, got a little bit of dopamine, feeling good. Next morning, shoes were still night before there, put my shoes on, went to the basement, and looked at the treadmill. I said, buddy, I did it for today again, I was done. Right? The next day, I went to the treadmill for a minute, and so on and so on, until I build that slowly. Again, taking that small wins, taking, getting a little bit of dopamine, making myself easier to establish that habit. Keep this in mind for any habit you want to, you want to create. I want you to think about your accountability partner. Who it is in your life that will keep you accountable and make sure that you will start this new habit. And I give you a hint, if you don't have that person, put my name. Trust me, you will start that habit. <laughs> In order to establish a new habit, or to create a new one, we better, we must make that announcement. Thank you so much. Any questions? If we have a minute, I'm here. Oh, yeah, I tried, I tried. <laughs>